Invictus Launch Week, otherwise known as Fleet Week, is a long-standing tradition and it goes back several centuries to the days when the UEE was known as the United Planets of Earth. Shortly after the First Tavaran War began in 2541, humanity suddenly found itself in need of an organised military force of a size previously unneeded. To this point, aside from the hostage situation with the Xi'an in 2530, there had only been local security forces under the control of the central human government. With humanity facing an imminent and overwhelming threat, a fleet needed to be raised and trained quickly. The Tribunal, an executive governing body in the UPE, sent out an immediate call for recruits to create this army. Transport ships on each of the settled planets would load up these volunteers and travel to a training facility on Mars, known as Invictus. On the morning of the 12th of October 2542, Families and communities gathered at launch pads around the UPE territories to celebrate those that were going to defend against the alien invaders. As the conflict continued, more recruits would gather on that day to travel to Invictus to begin their training. In 2579, the Invictus base officially closed, but in 2581, Imperator Ivor Mesa officially formalised Invictus as a government-recognised yearly event. After the fall of the Messers, Fleet Week's date was moved, and it is now celebrated annually in the final week in May, in the period between Emancipation Day, a holiday commemorating the fall of the Messer regime, and Armistice Day, a holiday remembering the peace treaty between the UEE and the Xi'an. Visitors are able to view ships and armaments contributed to the military fleet, new and upcoming designs not yet completed, and sometimes rent and try ships for themselves, and citizens are able to watch various ships in the Navy fleet fly past nearby stations. Since 2803, the 999 Squadron has performed at select Invictus ceremonies. Over the centuries, as the Empire has expanded, space travel has become more accessible and most recruits are able to self-report, the need for Invictus launch week has diminished. The spirit of it, however, is stronger than ever. It is meant as a tool to promote participation in the Navy, as well as show awareness for the history of naval events. Invictus is a time to celebrate each other, to celebrate bravery, duty, and commitment to the goals that define humanity at its finest. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy, buying spaceships and going on ship hub. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Do you like building spaceships? Of course you do! JR Fabrication make officially licensed Star Citizen products and Airfix-like model kits. Do you want a narrow fighter? Maybe a freelancer? Some cyclone little buggies? Dragonflies? Oh my! You want dioramas of ships and vehicles? They've got them too! And they continue to add more to their range. Follow the link down below to jrfabrication.co.uk forward slash board to see all of the wonderful products they have on offer and use the code Board Invictus to also get some exclusive Fleet Week recruitment propaganda. A3 art prints with each of your orders. Ooh. Every month we have a ship giveaway for May. It's for a Crusader Hercules Starlifter. It's a big boy cargo and ground vehicle transport ship that you can expect to be added to the game by the end of the month. Just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.